This is Purposeful Leadership. Hello, friends. Welcome to this installment of Purposeful Leadership. As I've said before, Purposeful Leadership is not a title or a job. Purposeful Leadership is a function that anyone, and in my opinion, everyone, should exercise and employ in their life. Purposeful Leadership is a function of two critical elements. It begins with your life's core purpose and is fulfilled by the attainment of what we call the nine virtues. When your life consists of these two elements, you will provide purposeful leadership. And as I said, anyone can do this. I'm busting a myth here about whether leaders are born or made. Leaders just are. And anyone can lead and really is obligated to do so once they attain the awareness that comes from this program. Purposeful leadership is not a job. It's not a position. It's a function. So while you may have the supervisor title, you don't need to be constantly leading your people. And if you and your people all practice and live out purposeful leadership, you will know when to lead and you will know when not to lead others. All the great leaders already know this. Purposeful leadership occurs as each person in your organization knows and practices their life's core purpose and is developing the nine virtues in their lives. If everyone in the organization lives this way, people will just naturally lead as their life's core purpose is needed in a given situation. Purpose and virtues are the key. What we do and who we are. In most organizations, I find one or the other is stressed, but it is both. What you do and who you are work together. They synergize to bring out the best from you and the people around you in any given situation. This is serious business, folks. The world really needs this. It's time to get on with it. As you supervise your work group and and they find and live their life's core purpose and develop the nine virtues, your people become more focused on mission and each other and the work and less and less about their own agenda. This type of engagement and the innovation and productivity you achieve will be game-changing over time. It's not instantaneous. It takes months and years to attain, but the culture you'll develop will be, as I said, game-changing. And as someone once said, culture eats strategy for breakfast. The end result is, in a word, excellence. Once a person learns and lives their life's core purpose, the focus and clarity they bring to their work is levels above what they had before. Excellence, a word that we seem to have lost. Excellence, it means surpassing, above the standard, beyond expectations, or what would normally occur. Excellence is best defined as the pursuit of perfection, with the knowledge that perfection cannot be obtained. Excellence is a continuous effort towards what can or should be, The best leaders pursue excellence in life and at work. Life's core purpose produces a level of excellence in anyone's life as they live it out. And if someone works in a job where their purpose is in play, excellence becomes more and more possible. As a supervisor or a coach, once you know what your people are really great at and what they really care about at a core level, you have unlocked the key to their potential and their achievement of excellence. And if you employ or place them in situations where their life's core purpose is in play, you will see the difference immediately. Here's an example. I was speaking with a member of a group I lead called the Already But Not Yet Leaders. Lana Nelson is her name. The ABNY group that she belongs to is comprised of people in the formative stage of life which, as you recall from previous podcasts, is roughly 25 or 26 to, say, 40 or 40-ish. It is important that people in this formative stage form well. ABNY is a place of encouragement, peer review, and challenge in helping her and the members there to form well. Lana started out working for a company that sold stuff to big box retailers. Then, as she learned her purpose and applied it, she found that she could be a project consultant for a company that provided expertise to those same retailers. Being successful at that, 
She was recruited by a big box retailer to lead the procurement function in a particular division of that company as a supervisor with a substantial increase. This all came about by her willingness to take the Life's Core Purpose Assessment and then apply her two words to her life. Since our group also focuses on the person, she has become more and more focused also on the nine virtues. If you were to talk with Lana about her success, she would say something like, I'm just being myself. Finding and living who you have been designed to be and developing the virtues that provide the character that others can rely upon is the outcome that living out our program provides. And it all begins with your life's core purpose. You see, this can happen to you, too. If you go to our website, lifescorepurpose.com, that's lifescorepurpose.com, no apostrophe, and click on Find Yours, you'll see two options. The big option is for your opportunity to register with us and begin the journey of maximizing your life. To do that, you click on the short video trailer and then click on the link at the end. This will give you your lifetime access to our resource area, our newsletter, podcasts, and other videos on maximizing your purpose and career, plus the nine virtues assessment, which is under development. It's just $49. Or you can just click on the Get Started button and just find your life score purpose. It's also $49, but the package is obviously the better deal. But it's up to you, so check it out and see what you think. Lifescorepurpose.com. Lifescorepurpose.com. Remember, live on purpose.